Hello, this is Lalo Solo, and what we are trying to do in this video is to trigger the shutter of this Canon camera by using a laser. First, let's understand the electrical properties of the shutter port, which is a standard 2.5 millimeter jack located in one side of the camera. Let's connect the tip and the slip of the jack to the multimeter. We get 3.3 volts across the terminals. Now we need to set the multimeter on micrograms measurements. Measuring current short circuits the two terminals. And we are activating the shutter. This is 72 micrograms of ferret current. So with these two values we need to calculate the right components that can handle these inputs. Here we have a test circuit in this breadboard. We are powering the circuit with the same voltage on the camera. It has a sensor LED on the left and a monitor blue LED on the right, which turns on when sensor is being hit by the laser. This is a low power, low cost laser. Just must point it to the middle of the LED to activate the circuit. Great. It is satisfying activating this blue LED. Now let's prepare the circuit to work with the camera. We are not using the external power. Circuit will get the power from the camera itself. With this homemade cable that has some pins ready for the breadboard from one side and the jack from the other. Now remove the blue LED, we don't want it affecting the rest of the circuit, which means that we will be bypassing it. At the end, you will see the diagram I'm using for this. Let's connect the jack in the shutter port. And point the camera to a some nice direction. Turn on the camera. Laser ready. Let's try and see how it works. Can you hear the shutter? Perfect. Let's see it closer and observe how the camera is behaving. Laser must be pointing right to the middle of the LED. Absolutely perfect. But how is that a normal LED could be a sensor? Well, this is a property from LEDs to generate a small amount of current when they receive radiation, like the one they normally generate. For this, we will be getting micrograms. Again, pointing the laser right to the middle of the LED. In this case, we are getting one microamp, a little bit more, maybe.
Well, finally, here you have the circuit in case you want to try it or improve it. And feel free to leave your comments. Thank you for watching.